Hi everyone, it's Pastor Dan with Uplifting Thoughts for today. And I've got a question for you. Do you remember when we first started these Word of Encouragement videos? Do you remember how long it's been? This is nearly the 90th one. Can you believe it? There are so many. We started these daily uplifting thoughts way back in March, March 25th. Pastor Steve, Pastor John, and myself sharing a daily devotional during these difficult, challenging times. And we did it to keep our eyes on Jesus. March seems so long ago now, doesn't it? So much has happened because back in March, we didn't know what we would be facing in the hot month of July. This ongoing pandemic has changed everything and it keeps changing things. We're in the midst of it, in the growing of it. The way we live, the way we work, the way we worship, the way we play, the way we interact with each other or the way that we're prevented and the way we have to social distance or keep our distance affects us in so many ways as individuals, families, communities, nations around the world. Communities of faith are also being impacted. And now we're planning how the school kids can get back to school because we're constantly thinking of what will keep us safe as life moves forward. Our lifestyles, our way of living, our very lives have been and are being changed by a contagious disease that spreads and spreads. And we begin to wonder, where is God? And we cry out, hear our prayer, O Lord, as Duke cries out. <laughs> He's in the other room. So the word of encouragement today comes from two questions that the Apostle Paul asks in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 and 32. Paul says, so what are we going to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He didn't spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. Won't he also freely give us all things in him? And then down in verse 35, Paul asks another question. He says, who will separate us from Christ's love? Or what can separate us from the love of Christ? Paul's pondering the problems in the world, and, and he asks, what are the assurances that we can hold on to as we look around and see the difficulties? And he says, it's Christ's love for you. We may have unsettling thoughts. We may bristle at so much turmoil around us, so much uncertainty. How can we celebrate the assurance that nothing separates us from God's love, from God's care? In hardship, anxiety, homelessness, losing a job, losing one's health, Paul asks, what can separate us from the love of Christ after he did so much for us on the cross? And he says, nothing. That's why we call the gospel good news. For the good news of God's kingdom is that when we make Christ Lord of our lives, neither death nor life, neither COVID-19 nor any future catastrophe, nothing has the power to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So today, don't give up on love. Trust God. Even if your faith is small, it's Christ that will take care of you. Hey, thanks for listening. Have a great day.